Hello mga kamatlets, it's me again, Teacher Robert. Welcome to our new session. Our topic in this video is all about illustrating polygons. Now in this video is about illustrating polygons in relation to its convexity, angles, and sides. You will be able to identify and describe polygons as they are applied in the real life situation. You will develop an in-depth understanding of the concepts of polygons and will give examples therefore. So, kana on sa na siya? Yes, kanang honeybees. Okay, good. That is honeybees. Honeybees are interesting creatures. So, there are excellent builders. They construct their honeycombs with hexagonal cells. So, tanawan ninyo kung atong malantaw ka ng picture. Di ba ka ng balay sa ka ng ugmag ka ng sa yukan or sa atong mga budyo or ka ng sa likwan. Ang balay nila na forma dyan o hexagon. So, that is hexagonal cells. Such design involving hexagons. So, according to some research, this design is for efficiency of storage of honey. So, kanang ilang mga dugos, so, anak diya ay pang butang, kanang design maadyo sa pag-store of dugos. And minimization of material usage of base wax. So, kamay na magamit nga base wax. A honeycomb is among the prime examples of illustrating polygons. So, mo na sila ay one of examples of illustrating polygons, kanang honeycombs. So, polygons can also be seen around our houses. So, das atong mga balay, makita po ang polygons. Like for example, our doors, sa atong mga pultahan, sa atong balay, our windows, the cabinets, the television, the table, and many more. So, daghan. So, kanang mga butang sa atong balay, mag-represent na sa polygons. However, Polygons are not exactly the objects itself that were mentioned. So, dili ito si Jama o yung polygon. Ito yung mga bahan, ito yung mga bintana, ito yung mga cabinet, ito yung mga television. Dili ito si Jama o yung polygon. But, rather it was the ships that constitute this object that are considered to be polygon. Ito yung ilang mga purma. Ito yung purma sa atong bintana, purma sa atong mga sira, Uh, purma sa atong mga television, those ships that constitute this object are considered to be polygons. But then what, what is a polygon? So, let's start with the definition of polygons. Now, a polygon is a closed plane figure which is composed of segment. No? So, si polygon ko no, is a closed plane figure which is composed of segments. So, As we discussed in our previous video, it's all about plane. Di ba? We discuss about plane and we give examples of plane. Now, si polygon ko nung usak ka plane figure. Usak ka plane figure. Now, si polygon is a closed plane figure which is composed of segments. And these non-collinear segments are what we call the sides of our polygon. No? So, these segments also are connected by their endpoints. So, connected sila by their end points. Now, each end point of a segment intersect two or uh, two segments of the polygon at their end points. So, this intersection of segments are called the vertices of a polygon. Now, let's focus on the definition of a polygon. So, it is a closed plane figure which is composed of segments. Now, as if ko no, is a polygon, a ship can be considered as polygon when the following conditions are met. So, kanin sila, kung ma-satisfy ni following condition, we can consider the following ships or 
the given shape as a polygon. Now, the first condition is it could be a closed shape. So, sarado. Sarado del is the open but close. Second, it could be a flat or two-dimensional shape. So, 2D. When you say two-dimensional, that is 2D. 2D means two-dimensional figure. When you say two-dimensional shape, it has only length and width. So, length and width, Rasija, two-dimension. So, it has length and width. Then, the third or the last condition that we're going to meet with the uh, to consider the shape as the polygon or makonsider ang shape na polygon siya ay katulo, kinahanglan bounded siya, it could be bounded by connecting straight line segments gilibutan or surrounded or circumscribed siya by the connecting straight line segment as I've said the segments are connected by their end points no? the segments or the sides of the polygon are connected by or the straight lines or the straight line segment connected by their end points. Okay. Like for instance, so for instance, this figure, what figure is this? Can you see that? What's happening? See that? What's happening? A ship. That is a yes, very good. A triangle. Ah, uh, that is a triangle. Now we will examine whether this triangle. Is a polygon or not? So to examine or to test, we are going to test those three conditions. Of, uh, atong gamiton to mga tulog a condition. Kung mo satisfy ba si triangle? So is it a polygon? So si triangle ba kuno sa ka polygon? Then does it satisfy all the condition for it to be considered as polygon? So, mo satisfy ba siya sa tanang condition para ma-consider siya as polygon? So, first condition is is it a closed ship? Sarado ba siya? So, try to examine sarado ang atong triangle. Walay nag uh, kang a diha. Kay ang kang a sila ra ang kang a. Oh, up, no? Ang triangle ato dili kang a. It is closed. No? So, close ang atong triangle. Now, is it a closed ship? Sarado ba? Ang, what is your answer? Is it, a, is it a closed ship? Yes. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Our triangle is a closed ship. Now, second condition is, is it a flat or two-dimensional ship? Uh, two-dimensional ba siya? Two-dimensional. Now, in our previous video, Plain man si ja. no? Plain man si ja. Then, this triangle, as I gave examples to what is a plane, dito sa atong previous video, si triangle, usa sa atong example. So, therefore, plain, or si triangle, usa ka plain figure. Usa ka plain figure. When you see plain figure, plain si ja, that is a two-dimensional, as we discussed in our previous video. Kung may ngon o plane, automatically that, uh, that figure is a two-dimensional, two-dimension. Sabot so, masabot, si triangle, kay doon na si jay length o width, automatic si jay two-dimensional. So yes, no yes. Then doon na, out of three conditions, doon na yung namit ni, ni triangle. Now let's uh, move to the third and last condition. Is it bounded by connecting straight line segment? So gis ang ang ato bang ang triangle ba do na bay naglibot nga mga straight line segment. Tanawa, ang mga side sa triangle, ang nakapurma kang triangle, puro mga straight line segments, line segments. So, does it is yes, yes si ja. So bounded ba si ja? Yes, of course. The lines are connected at their end points. No? Another. So, ano? Since all the conditions are met, a triangle is a polygon. Now, kay namit man na ang tulo ka condition, so we can consider uh, this triangle as a polygon. As a polygon. Okay, how about this figure? How about this figure? Okay, how about this figure? Is it a polygon? 
Polygon na si Ja? Okay. No, the figure is not a polygon. What makes that figure not a polygon? Ang sabi yung nakakakuha ni Ja? Ha? Okay, let's find out kung unsay nakakuha ni Ja, nakapadili uh, polygon, unsa nga condition ang wala ni Ja na meet. Una, is it close? Close si Ja. So, the first condition na meet. Second, is it flat? Flat pod. Yes. The third, is it bounded by the straight line segment? Straight line segment. Doon na ba straight? Mga straight ba na? So, dili. So, automatically, uh, this figure ba violet or ba violating na? Violating the the third condition. Na? So, thus, it, uh, the third condition did not did not meet no so therefore the answer is no the figure is not a uh, polygon okay let's move on to the parts of polygon ato na ta sa parts of polygon now a polygon the parts of polygon consist of sides angles vertices and diagonals so there are four parts of polygon so do na si jay sides do na si jay angles do na si jay vertices and do na si jay diagonals now we will discuss these parts of uh, polygons one by one. So first, let's start with the sides of a polygon. The sides of polygons are straight line segments that bound the polygon. So ang sides sa atong polygon, usa siya ka straight line segment nga naglibot sa atong polygon. Now, for example, in that figure, in that figure siya, kana nga figure kini, that is what we call the pentagon. A pentagon. Automatically, pentagon is a kind of polygon. Polygon siya who have, uh, have five sides. Five sides. So, five sides siya. That's why it is called as pentagon. Now, the pentagon, this pentagon, now we will determine the sides of this pentagon or this polygon. No? So, generally, this is called as polygon. But, specifically, tawagon siya as pentagon. Ang nga, nga ni Ja, Pentagon. Uh, Pentagon ang nga specific name. Okay. So, Pentagon ang, at ang i-determine ani ang nga side. Now, the sides of Pentagon are that one. No? This, there are, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. There are five sides of that Pentagon. So, kana ang mga side, kana ang mga straight line segment, kana ang mga straight diha ha, ah, maunay mga sides sa ato. Kuha. Next, the angles. So, the angles. Angles are formed when the sides meet at their end points. So, the interior angles are those found inside the polygon while its supplement are an adjacent angle is called exterior angles. Actually, there are two types of angles in the polygon. First is the interior angle and the second is the exterior angle. But, Makahibaw naman mo in our previous discussion, we discussed about angles. Now, sa akong maporma na siya polygon, naitaw ko nga interior angles o exterior angles. Now, this, inter, this ang angle ni Ja, kana nga maporma, kana nga nasa sur, from the word interior angle. Interior. No? Interior angle. Interior. But pasabot, sulod. Sulod sa atong polygon. So, that is... That is, kanang mga angle diha, ah, kanang nasa so, tawagun sa jaog, interior angles. So, are those ang, uh, angles that are found inside the polygon? No? Nasa sulod sa atong polygon. While, while ang supplement ani, o adjacent angle, tawagun sa exterior angle. Now, how we are going to determine the exterior angles of a polygon? First, Kung ka na nga to figure, balik ta sa pentagon. Kung kiniya nga tong side, there are five sides. Now, to get the exterior angles of a, pentag uh, of a polygon, para makuha ang exterior angles sa atong polygon, we are going to extend the sides of the polygon. So, ato yung extend, sumpaya na to ng side, sumpaya na to para makuha na to ang exterior. Kahit sa base on the definition, the supplement and adjacent angle of the interior angle. 
so supplement with pasabot mo purma sila og linear pair now we have di ba linear pair ang tawag basta supplement ug adjacent linear pair so ang pares ni interior exterior okay as i've said makuha sa exterior kung atong extend ang mga side sa atong polygon like for example this side kani sida kana nga side kung ato na siya extend nga na ang mapurma no kini ang purma So it forms an angle outside the polygon. Makapurma si Jaog angle outside the polygon. So ang kana nga pulusyon dia, kana nga angle, ta mao nay tawgon og exterior angle. Ko ha. So same as the other side, kung ato yung extend gapo na kini nga side or kini nga side extend, makuha na to ang exterior angle. So that is how we're going to get the exterior angles of the polygon. Ko ha. Okay. Proceed ta sa vertices. Now, vertices is the plural form of vertex. When you see, in our previous video, we discussed about vertex. Sa polygon, eh, daghan naman siya, daghan naman. Sa angle, to the vertex. Pero, kay, as I've said, ang atong polygon has, may, daghan man siya, angles. Di ba, daghan siya, angles. Now, daghan po siya, vertex. Mo nang matawag siya, um, vertices. Uh, do not be confused on the word vertex and vertices. Ang vertex, singular. Ang vertices is plural. Okay. The vertices are the points or the end points of the side meet at which, and which are found on the same plane. For example, in this figure, kung kani ang mga angle, kani ang mga angle, kani intersection sa mga side, tawag na si Jao, vertex. Kana si Jao mao yung mga vertex. So, The point or the point where the end point meet or the of the side meet, no? Kato mga end point siya, this ato sila nagsugo sa nagsugat, mo to sila itago ng vertex, vertices. So there are five vertices of that polygon. Okay, diagonals. A diagonal sa polygon is drawn from two non-consecutive vertices. Ang diagonal kuno sa ato polygon. Oh, diagonal ni si Jan, diagonal ng polygon, mao ni si Jay linya nga mo connect sa non-consecutive or two two non-consecutive vertices. So in this figure, for example, this pentagon, there are pila ka vertices? Yes, there are five. Okay, five vertices. Now, sa atong five vertices, kanang five diha ah, lima ka mga vertex. Kinahanglan mag ang dayag uh, magkonekta kung magdrawing ta og linya nga mo-connect sa two non-consecutive vertices taw ko na nga linya as diagonal okay like for example in this figure kung kini nga vertex diri sa babaw kini i-connect nato diri oh kuha dili man pwede kining babaw i-connect sa idang si kanang sunod kana dili man pwede kay consecutive ba na sila sunod kay as I've said when you see non consecutive dili sunod so dili sila sunod so kining babaw laktaw si daw ko sa kining isa kining atbang dapi ang nanghapit na atbang ni dak ini dili sunod kana og diri a kung ato na siyang i-connect nga na ang mapurma so do na na tay diagonal nga nahimo mao ni si jay diagonal diagonal of a polygon ay a line or line segment connecting at two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. So, dagan pa. Sir, isa ra ba ang diagonal? No. As long as naapay mag-connect na two non-consecutive, pwede pa i-connect. So, for example, this one and this one, kana dre a. Oh, pwede pa na. Kana. Diagonal. Another diagonal of a polygon. Then, kinipod o kining at bang kana siya. Then, kining during a portion of during a portion so okay kana then last kana si da of the as a picas okay uh, okay wala na lain wala na may mag-connect okay so therefore the, the number of the diagonals that we meet or the we draw are or is five so there are five diagonals in that polygon and what is that polygon pentagon there are five diagonals of the pentagon uh, okay that is how we're going to uh, draw uh, diagonals in a certain polygon so mauna nga na on pag drawing ng diagonals next 
Classification of polygons. A polygon can be classified into first, ma-classified siya as convex or non-convex. Convex or non-convex. When you say non-convex, it is concave. Other term for non-convex is concave. Concave. So, so let, pwede siya tawagon, it's either convex or concave. Oh, ha? The second is a polygon can be classified also as regular or irregular. Pwede siya ma-classify as regular or irregular. When you say regular, equilateral, equiangular, or irregular, kabaliktaran sa regular, opposite sa regular. Now, first we're going to discuss what is a, a convex or non-convex, or convex or concave. No? Okay. A polygon is convex when all its interior angles measures less than 180. Or if the lines containing the sides of the polygon do not cross the interior of the polygon. Okay. For example, in that figure, kana si Jackie nga figure. So they are called convex. Kay wala may interior angle ni Janga less than ano wala wala interior angle ni Janga ning lapas ug 180. All the angles measures less than 180. Another, ang line pong technique na mo determine nga kanang polygon is a uh, uh, convex is the diagonal. Pwede ni mo gamitin si diagonal para ma-determine ka ng figure as convex or concave. Kung convex, mag-drawing ra kag diagonal. Kung ang diagonal ganit ni Jack, puro na sa sulod, buot pa sa buot, that is convex. Uh, for example, Kini nga figure, atong i-drawing, or kini siya, so, ato siya ang butangan o butangan siya o kanang linya or the diagonals, atong i-linyahan siya, kini, diha, di ba? Then, same as tripod okay all the diagonals are inside the polygon so tanan na sa sulod kung kini pod atong kuanon kini sa babaw tanan na sa sulod thus since all the interior angles of the game in polygons be sure less than 180 unta kanang tanan nga pulik uh, diagonals mo be sure siya ano oh na sa sulod na siya sa sulod ang diagonals ma locate so, we can say that these given polygons are convex. Convex is that. So, yung nga pag-locate, yung nga pag uh, or pag-determine whether the polygon is a convex. Una, by using the angle measurement, kung tanan ba interior angle si Jalis less than 180, automatic si Jalis convex. Second, by drawing. Drawing a uh, diagonals. I drawing on ang diagonals, mag-draw tao diagonals, Onya, kung ang tanan diagonals na asa sulod, convex siya. Okay? Next, while a polygon is concave, when it has one or some of its interior angles measures more than 180. So, kung ang, kung kaganina, less than, tanan, less than 180 ang tanan mga interior angles. Karon, kinahang, ang polygon kinahanglan, walay anggel nga mul sobra og 180 no walay anggel nga mul sobra og 180 ano musog kay kung sobra tawgon siya og concave no concave no unay tanaw ni mo like for example this polygon kani nga polygon this this exa this examples kung nay usa ka anggel ni ja Nga mo more than 180, automatic siya concave. Just like that one, kana nga mga angles, kana nga mga angles, kini nga mga angles, this one, kana kini po diri ah. Da, those angles measures more than 180. So, so 180 siya. Mao nang consider as concave. Pero lang another another way of 
determining whether it is concave or convex, as I've said, by drawing a diagonal. Kung kaganina, kung, mag kung sa convex, kung mag-drawing ta, diagonal, kinanglan, ang tanan diagonal na sa sulod. Oh. Mao na convex. Pero kung mag-drawing ta, unda, na ay usa nga, or usa or daghang diagonal nga makita sa gawas, automatic siya, concave. Like for example this one, kung atong i-connect ning diri sa babaw, kini nga figure, kung kini nga figure, kini nga figure, nga na, kung atong i-connect ni diri ang side, kung diri nga side, makit, nanas dyan sa gawa sa polygon. Kuha? Ang diagonal, nanas sa gawa. And this, also this example, also kini pun nga figure, kung kini nga side, diri ang person, o diri nga person atong i-connect, na na siya sa gawas sa uh, sa polygon same as this big in this figure as i said kung magdrawing ka og diagonal kung na sa na ay diagonal nga na ay sa na na ay na sa gawas or gawas sa polygon that polygon would be considered as concave or non convex no non convex okay So thus, the given polygons are non-convex or concave. Okay, regular or irregular. Kung saan pag-determine nga si polygon o sa ka-regular polygon or irregular polygon. O sa kalainan nila doon ha. Now, moreover, the different types of polygon according to the congruency of parts. So magdepende siya sa congruency of part kung sabot kung pila ka parte sa atong polygon ang or ang congruency nila no congruence of parehas so code so can it can be classified as regular or irregular so a polygon is considered to be equilateral if all of its sides are congruent equilateral siya Ano gi discuss man ato ang equilateral? Kay ni ingon pa nga, a polygon is a regular, mahimo siyang regular kung both equilateral ug equiangular. So, ang polygon nato ma consider as regular kung pareho sila equilateral ug equiangular. Now what is equilateral? Ang polygon ma consider as equilateral kung ang tanan side congruent. Equilateral is Uh, from the two words, equi and lateral. Equi means equal or congruent. Then lateral is sides. So equal sides or congruent sides. Uh -huh. So pariho, for example, in that figure, so all the sides of the triangle are congruent. Ano na kaingon man ko nga congruent siya? Uh, based on that given figure na ay mga marka. Kini, kini mga marka ka na siya. Kana ang mga markahan na siya. Kana ang mga marka, kana ang ba, ba, mubagit, or na ay bagit isa, or pan. Basta ay bagit siya dia. That is the symbol, uh, mao na siya ay marka gamitun sa mga sides. Now, ang indication na na, kung pariho gani sila og marka, for example, isa dari ana, isa ra kabagit, dari isa kabagit, dari isa kabagit, But pasabot ana that means pareho silag sukod. In geometry, bisan pa ubdi ni ana nimo pwede na nimo but di butangan og si, uh, anang sa measurement mga sukod as long as na ay marka mahibaw ani mo nga pareho silag sukod. So but pasabot kung unsay sukod sa isa mao pwede sukod sa uban. So kay pareho man sila tag-usa, gawas og tagdu tag isa duha na isa tulo so pareho man sila usay bagit subot pa sabot equal sila mo ni mo ni basihan mo ni tanawon pod so all the sides of triangle are congruent thus the triangle is equilateral equal sides or congruent sides now a polygon also is considered as equiangular equiangular siya kung When all the interior angles are when all the interior angles are congruent congruent no congruent siya 
when all the angles are congruent. Okay. So, same as the sides, ang ahaw pong gibasihan sa maong nga figure, for example, another this figure, kaya niingon mo kung all the angles of the triangle are congruent based on the given figure. Ahaw yung basihan, kining mga marka po sa angle. Kana. Kaganina, doon ay mga linya. Karoon, doon ay mga kurba. Or arc ang gamit. An arc is used uh, para magamit sa pagmarka sa atong mga anggel. Kaganina, linya siya, or line siya, gamay siya nga bagit, or mga line, segment, gamay, to, uh, to mark a line segment. No? Kini, arco, magamit sa uh, kanang sa atong mga angle. Now, ang akong ibasihan, why nag-ingon ko niya, all the angles of triangle are congruent, is based on the its mark. Kini siya. Pareho silag marka, tag-usa ka arco. So, that means, pareho silag sukod. So, therefore, kay congruent na sila, the triangle are, is equiangular. The triangle is equiangular. Okay, kuha. Now, since the given triangle is both equilateral and equiangular, magkaingon ta nga, kana si, uh, kana nga triangle, kana nga polygon, is a regular polygon. Or kana nga triangle, is a regular triangle. Okay. Okay, pareho man sila equilateral or equiangular. May satisfy man ang buha. Okay. Now, meanwhile, an irregular polygon is a polygon whose sides and angles are of different or unequal measures. Dili pareho ang sukod. So kung kanina, ang tanan angle o ang tanan side pareho ang sukod para mag-consider as regular, karon an irregular is a kind of polygon na ang mga sukod sa ilang sides o ang angle, dili pare-pareho. Lahi-lahi. So, dili equal. So, like for example, in our figure, the given triangle is different or unequal measures of its sides and its angle. Unsa po'y ahong gibasihan, anak? Again, ang mark ka. Mga mark. Oh. Sa side, there nga portion is isay uh, kini, isay mark ka. There nga side is to high mark ka. There nga tulo. But pasabot, dili sila pareho Kay isa, duha, tulo. Dili sila pariho o sukod. Kay dili man sila pari-pariho o marka. So, therefore, dili equal ang measurement sa mga sides. Same as the angles. Tanawa, ang arco dili usa, dili at duha, dili tulo ka arco. So, therefore, lahi-lahi sila o sukod. Mauna yung gibasihan, nga dili sila pariho o sukod. So, mauna yung gamit sa geometry. So, mani yung batayan ang mga uh, marka sa figure. Okay. Thus, the given triangle is irregular. Kaya dili man sila pari-pariho o support. Okay. So, example sa regular o irregular, ana, uh, another examples is uh, as shown in the table. So, this only few out of uh, many kinds of polygons. So, dagandagay klase sa polygons based sa uh, number of sides. Okay. Kanang, kanang isa, name ni Jai is triangle, three sides, ang four, quadrilateral, or ta matawag si Jai of oh, katong uh, matawag na sila in term nga sa quadrilateral second is pentag out next is if the number of sides of polygon is 5 pentagon ang 6 is hexagon 7 is heptagon 8 is octagon no 9 is nonagon 10 is decagon so not and decagon to decagon okay those are the examples another examples of polygon but in this figure uh, regular or irregular polygons. These are some of the examples of irregular or regular and irregular polygons. Monisaja. So, I hope uh, it will help your study. Uh, that's all.
Thank you and once again, good day everyone. Uh, keep safe always. Bye-bye.